Big roundhouse now just misses. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, yeah, right here. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Whoa! Whoa! Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. Up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Methuen, Massachusetts, Calvin Keita. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice strike. 
Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going over the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Ooh, what a punch. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Nice leg kick. Misses with the right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Back to the well with the uppercut now, it's true. Here's another one. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a gun to blaze it. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Big kick lands. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets hit with a kick. All right, single collar tie now. Just missing on the high kick there. Ooh, head kick lands, was hurt. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big punch lands through the middle. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Straight punch lands. 
Throwing that jab, no good. Lands the right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Ooh, nice work. Your cardio is sick. Why don't you get back up there push you harder? You can... All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Punch over the top. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Huge block there. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. He blocks the shot. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Beautiful body kick. Unable to connect this. Alright, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC. Take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round.
clearly. This round, I want to be destructive. Move forward. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, big punch lands. That right hand landed. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Go to the body. Go to the body. Whiffs on the right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. You got to check these low leg kicks. Under three minutes remain in round four. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just over two minutes to go. Counter punch landed there by Lee. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. There's no tell on that leg kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Switching stances here. Big head kick lands. Nice loop and punch. Blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the jab there. Ten seconds to go in round four. Nice kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round, DC. A lot of effective kicks there to the bottom. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. Beautiful kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Effective punch there by Liz. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice, nice. Still nice body kick land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And 
then you're in a lot of trouble. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right hand landed. Liver kick. Under two minutes now with which to work. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. What a punch. Big roundhouse now just misses. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, yeah, right here. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. That was again. Nice strike. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, so a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watched the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I think it was the striking advantage that he showed that should get him the victory, but we shall see. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Declared the winner by split decision, Bruce the Dragon!